Part of the ways I practice my herb life is to not forget about the everyday herbs and the mundane, the onions and celeries and things that make your meals delicious. Uh, when I pull onions from the garden, I like to use dry them and then use them right away. But sometimes my onions mm, been around for a little while. And often I need onion flavorings, and I can't buy the ones off the shelf. Either they're specialized and they're very expensive, or they have uh, um, additives and things in them, or wheat that I can't eat. So I dry my onions, and this is kind of how I do it. I chop them up into rings because they dry faster. I put them in my dehydrator. These take um, a couple of days. I don't dry them. See, these ones are toasty, which I like the flavor, and they took uh, two days to dry on medium. My dehydrator just has off, low, high, medium, and all. So then I put them in my magic bullet. I mean, there's a few things I love to keep going in my kitchen as tools, a uh, dehydrator, a processor, and my magic bullet. So I put them in the magic bullet, and as simple as that, just turn it on and powder them up. Uh, I add a little bit of salt to uh, keep it dry and preserved. See, there's uh, about two trays provided about this much onion powder for me. Um, here they are ready to be processed. And uh, I love my magic bullet. There we go. Zoom, zoom. It's going to be quite noisy. Don't do it when everybody else is trying to sleep. <laughs> I also will leave some um, just to garnish foods. There is a dried onion and it's a delicious snack. You ought to try it. Um, or I'll leave them in larger chunks so I won't process them the magic bullet. I'll just chop them up and add them to with the powder later to make an onion soup mix. And then properly labeled, I put them, put them in the pipe jars properly labeled and they stay on my kitchen counter. So I hope you'll try this process. You'll find you'll save some money, you'll feel accomplished, and it tastes good without all the added extras that store-bought can provide.